All right, gentlemen, welcome to session 49. And y'all should have a map up and uh, the last game, uh, if you remember, um, you activated the star delay and you stepped through and where you emerged was like this miniaturized and compact version of Nazaran. And when you got off, you were immediately attacked by uh, two flying polyps. And Elon's been out, so this is what attacked them. I don't remember them. They're pretty big too, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you all defeated them and um, that was where we were at at the end of the last game <laughs> so I basically show up when all the work is done awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have a night for uh, you have a knack for picking out the plot point nights <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and I need to put the rock and Dulian. It makes more changes again. On the map, rock comes. Okay, uh, just as a reminder, uh, you're in this artificial cavern. Uh, there's a wind uh, coming from the southeast. Uh, high above, you can see a moon shining with a pale, sickly light that through a break in the clouds and there's these ethereal towers rising behind it and um, simply to glimpse the sight is to know beyond all reason but with the utmost certainty that this is in Corsica so you have indeed traveled for sure And now, uh, what would you like to do? Hmm. Got to think of what spells I would have to put up. Uh, the rock needs to be bigger. I'm going to assume I'm back down to human size. I mean, can can we see anything outside of this miniature version of Naruvazan? Or is it literally just... I mean, if it's miniature, can we see past these towers? How tall are the walls around us? Uh, uh, or hang on, maybe I was missed. Are you saying the miniature version of Neruvazin makes up this area here, and that's the whole miniature version? I uh, No. Uh, the entire city that you're currently in, let's say it is shrunk, compressed, by at least uh, a third... Instead of a 300 foot tower, it's a 100 foot tower. Correct. Obviously, that looks so different then. Matters. Okay, um. Unless somebody is going to fly up and look around, I guess the options we'd have would just be to start following whatever I mean, path this is. Someone was. wants to, I can cast line someone. Wait, we already have someone who's flying around. So, if who's flying? Flying around. Who's flying? The rock? And someone who had fog, he's not, to, he's not here. Right? No one wasn't was it? flying. Uh, wasn't Steph flying? Oh, you're, no, okay. 
Yeah, stuff worth right, flying. Stuff worth flying. He just didn't actually do anything with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can say that he flies up and tells you that there is a uh, the passageway to the southeast uh, winds its way through the city, and there is a giant rift in the ground. Um, to the east. Okay. Same. And then Steph lands and says, fuck it guys, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> Thanks. Always in count on him. Uh, absolutely. Okay, then I assume we just start going this way and keep in IOS. And I am going to unlock tokens and unmask a little of the map. Yeah, Eric, as uh, you come down through the uh, passageway, uh, you can see that it branches off one to the north, one to the south. How many barks do you have, Adolin? I have four. I just used two, so who else needs them? Uh, probably Enzo needs the least. So if you want to put it on everyone else, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'll let y'all get finished. Did I lose control of my guy again, or...? Oh, wait. Let me put you on the right layer. Okay, I didn't know if my computer froze for a second or not. I couldn't move my windows or nothing. Interesting. Okay, okay you should be in control of your tokens. Ah, there we go. Okay, Eric, uh, as you and Poppy go around the corner there and come out into the uh, north-south passageway, uh, you hear a voice uh, You hear a voice saying, Hello, and it's coming from the south. And to the south, uh, you see uh, this lady, and she's the one calling out to you all. And she's like, uh, May I speak with you all? I mean you no harm. Yeah, I'll bet. Does... Does our bard know what that is? Do I recognize whatever her... Like, it almost looks like it's made of porcelain and is cracking or something. Uh... Yeah, um, as you start to get closer, uh, you can tell that it looks like a human woman, but it's like she's been transformed into a life-sized porcelain doll. And her skin is this lustrous alabaster, and there's this fine lattice of cracks running like a spider web across her face and body. You can see black and gold etchings running the length of her arms in symbols and ruins. Uh, here and there on her cheeks and the back of her hands, bits of porcelain have fallen away to reveal that she is hollow. Um, 
her face is disturbingly express express expressionless. Um, when her eyes open or her lips part, um, there's nothing inside except for this yellow light. And she's wearing this exquisite gown of white, gold, and purple. Her long blonde hair floating about her face as if she was once underwater. But may I speak with you all? I know, er, uh, I don't wish you any harm. Do we see what the general layout of the area is, or does it not matter? Uh, yeah, if you scroll down south, you can see. Um, I'm gonna reload it, but I don't see it right now. Ah, okay. Bugged out or something. So she's down in that little alcove? Yes, sir. Uh, from where we are, can we see if there's any reason? I mean, this is like a dead end, right? On both, on down there and over here. Like, do we see any reason why somebody might be in that area in the first place? Uh, no, you don't. <sighs> okay, I'll speak. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what brings you to this part of the city? Doesn't be much going on here. Uh... She explains that she sensed your arrival, and she traveled here by magic to meet you. Well, aren't we a big deal? Seems like a <laughs> lot of stuff to go through. Uh, yes, uh, uh, she, she wants to know, uh... She's like, I'm sorry. Forgive my manners, and um, she tells you that uh, and unlock. Okay, um, she tells you that she is Cassilia, and she was once the queen of Yithil, a city locked in tense political stalemate with its neighbor, Alar. And, uh, you know, she sensed your arrival, so she traveled here to, uh, find out if you have, uh, sworn, uh, Felty to the king in yellow. Can I uh, do a sense motive and get a feeling of what kind of answer she's looking for with that? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, whether or not you have sworn your fealty to the king in yellow, or if you all stand apart, and yeah, you can, uh, run a sense motive. Uh, let's see, um...
Honestly, um, you really, um, you're not sure it matters how you answer. Any idea what kind of race she is, or? Uh, honestly, I'm going to say, uh, Eric would not have any knowledge of this. She said she was once the queen of Util, right? Yes, and with, uh, your knowledge, uh, you know that that was one of the, uh, Remember, we talked about the two cities, the two major cities that took that existed on, in Corsica. Uh, one was uh, arts and crafts, you know, um, philosophy-driven, and it fell to decadence. The other one was um, its neighbor and pursued more science scientific interest. If you'll forgive me for saying so, for someone who apparently was once a queen, you don't seem to care much about my answer. Um... Now she talks, her mouth moves? Yeah. It, it does, but, uh, you know, you just have this yellow light coming out of her mouth. Um, it, huh. She's like, uh, that's true. It it really doesn't matter to me uh, if you're for or against the king. Uh, uh, I help both sides. Can you repeat that? Uh, uh, I help everyone who travels here. Well, if an answer doesn't matter one way or the other, then don't bother giving an answer who she's siding with then, if it doesn't really matter. I don't think we pledged loyalty to the yellow, the king in yellow anyway, did we? I don't know anything about this king in yellow, so... King in yellow is Hestor. He's, the, he's like the big bad of the campaign, basically. He's one of the great old ones. we yeah, then, no. <laughs> then that should be a big no, man. <laughs> That's my answer. I just imagine you're like, ah, I don't know who this king of yellow is. Oh, well, he's a, you know, a, a, a ancient god that kills people. Yeah, yeah, probably not him. Yeah, he's my boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the opposite side? Is the opposite side also a bad choice? Well, the elf, well... Presumably not the opposite side, as you know everyone's saying. But everyone like, else. Yeah, everyone else. So if you help everyone, what happened to you? Because it doesn't look like it worked out too well for you. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, being the queen, uh, the situation demanded that she name a successor in case of assassination. And her daughter resisted all attempts to be named the heir for fear that a prophecy that the uh, that the yellow sa sa nah. okay she wanted to name her daughter's successor and her daughter didn't want to for fear that uh, bringing about a prophecy that the yellow sign would be found by a successor to her mother. Uh, and that once it's found, the yellow sign would be sent for by the king in yellow. Um, So her daughter was worried that, uh, you know, that she would have to, you know, marry the king in yellow. And a stranger offered the queen 
a method in which she could safely name her daughter as a successor, but have it go unnoticed by the king in yellow. Um, unfortunately, this was a ruse. And um, it was a ruse designed to lure the nobility of the court to attend a masquerade ball. And um, during the masquerade ball, the entire assemblage was then tricked into looking upon an actual yellow sign where the stranger revealed his true identity. And a wave of madness swept over the city and it triggered a mystical chain reaction uh, that caused Corsica to begin its cannibalization of her city. And Wait, I thought Corsica was the world. I'm sorry, the world. Uh, that caused Corsica to begin its cannibalization. When Corsica started eating crap, it started with her city. Okay. Then it went okay, on so to... Corsica, so her thing was in a different world then? No, uh, she's in Corsica. She said when Corsica started eating crap, I mean... I guess uh, I'm not sure the, what the, saying, the, the, the planet... Okay, you got the planet Corsica. It's got okay. two major cities in it, Yithil and Alar. Um, when the stranger tricked everyone into looking upon a yellow sign, that triggered Corsica to begin eating stuff, and it started with her city, you know... It, Okay. Physically, metaphysically absorbing. And uh, kind of sounds like her planet just cannibalized itself, and we're probably standing on what's left. Probably my guess, yeah. Yeah. And, um, she's, she tells you that, you know, she's a powerful psychic in her own right. And she opened her mind um, so that all the tortured souls around her could be absorbed into her. And preserving their essence so that the ancient beautiful city and its people might one day be restored. And as a result of that, you know, it's turned her into porcelain. So you say you consumed the souls of your entire kingdom? Temporarily absorbed them for safekeeping. Uh, can I do a sense motive on that? Yeah, you sure can. And yeah, uh, you, you think she's telling the truth. Uh, uh, how long ago did this happen? eons ago. <laughs> so this whole temporarily absorbing them didn't exactly work. Uh, right. And, you know, she tells you that um, <sighs> she asked why you're here. You know my story. Tell me yours. If you... How far away is she from us? Uh, by now, I figure. Speaking, normal speaking distance. Yeah. I was wondering if she, you know, there's a reason she's staying away from us, or is she like... Uh, I'm figuring by now, shatter, man. everyone closed up the distance, and you're all within uh, talking distance. Alright. I'll, uh, ask her 
if your world was, you know, and kingdom were destroyed by Hastur, why would you help everyone coming through here? Uh, she helps the victims, and, um... Th did you tell her your story? Not yet. No. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is up with her. Um... Which is since she apparently doesn't care whether we're for or against Hastur. Uh, I don't care as far as help. I, I help everyone. Uh, those who are here against the Yellow King and those who are his victims. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I can't... Not the distinction, then. Uh, I won't tell you any more unless I know why you are here. There's a cultist of Hastur who's attempting to destroy our world, I suppose, in the same way that yours was destroyed. We've come here to try to stop him. Uh, she says that Karsika is like a vampire that feeds on civilization itself, and the Star's Delay are one of its fangs. They as you know, they transmit psychic energy through even the distant void of space. And as such, uh, Karsika is fed and in turn, so is the king in yellow. Um, and she fears that he will no longer be feathered here. That he will escape his bonds and... Um, you know, you must break the connection, not only to save your city, but to save us all. And she goes on to tell you that, um, that she stands against the king in yellow. And, uh, however, it, it's not easy, and her powers are not unlimited. Um, if she attempts to stop Hestor directly, you know, she only draws his attention. But not only that, she would draw attention to those that she's trying to help as well. And, um... <sighs> and... Eventually, Karsika will reach a critical mass in its growth. And at that point, Hastur will then ascend to become an outer god. And when that occurs, you know, she believes that Hastur's ravenous hunger will spell utter doom for all life, both here and beyond. What's and the point? Yeah. Joke. <laughs> um, I, you know, uh, I will help you as much as I can without directly drawing the gaze of Hastur. And, um, you know, she will help you learn the location of the three nexuses here that are connected to Thrushmore. So you're saying like that we had to activate the three stars to lie in Naruvazen, that there's three nexuses here that are connected to Thrushmore? Uh, yes. And she tells you, she tells you that her Imperial Didum has powerful divination abilities and you know uh, 
she offers to use its ability to cast vision to discover the locations of the three star stelae that you all need to activate here or deactivate um well, that seems like it's kind of important to know which we're actually doing. Well, it, it says activate. Well, it's like a it's like a light switch. One of the they're either on or off. We just do the opposite. That's the way it works. <laughs> and Somebody screwed up installing it. Uh, yeah. She tells you that you know she's more than happy to help. However, uh. She needs to be within close proximity to a being or a place of special significance to ensure accuracy. And, you know, she offers you, she offers to accompany you all for a while to locate such a thing. Well, I, I guess we might as well. No, so so no, really... I'm kind of curious. But how is she ever going to free her people that she has absorbed inside herself? Or is that a permanent, forever kind of thing? I'll ask her that. She'll know what I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, she she tells you that once the uh, danger of Hastur has replaced, has been, you know, displaced, um, there's uh magical devices and spells and so forth to uh you know free of the souls trapped within her she'll vomit everyone out yeah basically yeah uh, yeah Just pretty much magic. Uh, clearly i'm thinking fifth element when she <laughs> the final scene oh god uh, yeah <laughs> uh, and you know she um yeah Okay, I've heard the word. What the hell is a diadem? It's like a, it's a crown. Diadem uh, is a crown, yeah. Okay, um... Which she's wearing in her token, I see. Yeah, it should be a crown. You know that, uh, Eric, you got a strong suspicion that, that uh, diadem has a... Uh, it's probably one of the keys to releasing all of those souls. Typical noble think they have the right to swallow everyone's soul for their own good. Yeah. Don't you hate it when your queen absorbs all of your souls into herself? I know, right? And, uh, you want to travel more since motive check? You suspect that she's probably hiding something that, you know, it's not quite just doing a spell or pushing a button. What's the catch? My guess would be she's probably got to be destroyed. And she's already fracturing underneath all that pressure of having her entire civilization inside her. That'd be my guess. Very good sense motive there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, perfect. We didn't even need it, it just he just knew. Instinctively. Uh, uh, yeah, the the catch is it does require her death as well as the death of Hastur. Wait, Hastur has to die? Uh like the, the the great old one has to the uh, Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Fox. I don't even know if you can kill Great Old One. That's a, to be to be clear. When we're saying talking about killing us, that's like saying killing Cthulhu. Okay, like that's that's, Cthulhu's true. Well, you can kill some of them, right? If they're not on their on this is his plane, is he from here? Yeah. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, this is has um, actually. We're on a planet. We're we are not in a plane. Well, there you go. If if you think about it, like 
out of character on a meta level, this is Pathfinder. You can, if you are properly equipped and prepared, you could probably kill. Well, he's saying that you can't keep him permanently down. Yes, yeah, so but too if calm. this is his plane, if he is from here or a plane, I guess planet, killing him should keep him dead. The thing is, like out of the great old ones, you literally can't kill them. You kill them, it just like puts them back into hibernation for a while or something. Does it put them in like another dimension or anything like that, or puts them back to their home dimension? Would you be different well, than home? this dimension? So the home dimension. And, and, and here's that. the other thing: on on a meta level, I'm assuming I would probably know this in character. Like these great old ones, they're like demon lords and arc devil type power, right? To put it in number yeah. terms, they're like CR twenty five to thirty. Yeah. Like a group of level twenty characters is supposed to get wiped out by them, unless they're like mythic characters or something. So. Right. Saying, yeah, just go kill a store is not exactly something to do and they're doing Tuesday afternoon, even on Pathfinder. But, um... Do you even kill him? If it does send him back to his own plane, but which is not really a plane. He's not, yeah, he's not an outsider. Yeah, These are, these are aberrations, not planar beings. And so where they're from is space. <laughs> Or at least other planets, perhaps, might be more accurate. Okay, so we're all in the same dimension. Nobody's from a, a weird dimension like that. We're all in the same galaxy. Yeah, we're still technically on the material plane. Correct. But we're on a different planet. planet. So, and if he is from this particular plane, the material plane, and we kill him, there's no real, really to banish him to anyway. It's not like he's going to dimension hop, like killing a demon in this plane, the material plane sends them back to hell. I don't think you get the idea behind, like, the great old ones. They, like... Well, I know, like, we can't do it unless there's gonna be some other device, right? I don't know. But Let's ask this check. Does she know, she know if there's a way... If we if we actually do kill this man, does he stay dead? Does she know? Uh, I'll get back hmm. to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm also wondering, too, like... Is it even theoretically possible to banish a godlike being like this to a different dimension? With the outcome being that she would be safe in this dimension. In Sounds this like she'd be safe in dead, though. She actually she specified dead. his death. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, actually reading the uh, item properties, uh, it's destroyed if both Hastur and the Queen die within 24 hours of each other. It releases all those souls stored within to the Boneyard, or it permits them to be resurrected. Oh, so they even... Wait, 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 wait. So they have, you have to guess a resurrection spell for literally thousands of people? Uh... Actually, it restores the city that they're in, and then resurrects them. <laughs> oh, so okay. Bring, so it frees the souls, takes them to boneyard, and then step step two, builds their city back up, and then resurrects them all. Uh, either or. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, I, I think we can focus on, you know, how, killing a half steward be a thing we do, you know, like, not now, because that, that that's, like, an entirely the level compared to what we're trying to do, which is stopping Miles. Uh, yeah, uh, out of character for a moment, uh, there is no NPC for Hastor or the King in Yellow. I'm sorry, yeah. The yellow key. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm on a very, very meta level, be looking at this kind of stuff up for like high CR creatures, and I saw them. Like I'm pretty sure Hastur is like technically considered like a CR thirty mob or something like that. So, so uh, she offers to uh, join you to help uh, locate this delay that you need to find. Sure. If I get a chance, Enzo wants to touch her hand. See if it's like really as smooth as it looks. <laughs> uh, are you going to ask or just do it? 
No, no. At some point, where we're if we're walking, he'll accidentally he'll accidentally in quotations do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, um, uh, it, it it's this lustrous porcelain, and but you you do find you do feel little cracks through it. Interesting. Okay. And oh. she just kind of looks at she, uh, when you L touch her. Looks at you she she looks at you <laughs> and just uh, you know that face remains emo or uh, well, emotional. He apologizes. Then you're not sure if it was a good look or a bad look. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> he's gonna go with she liked it. <laughs> That's all he's got from that face. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do an effect. Hashtag me too. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> wow. Inappropriate groping. <laughs> he accidentally bumped into her. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Continuing north. Or is there anything else you'd like to do before you continue north? Well, I'm kind of curious if there's any way to actually restore her and stop her from cracking. Because she oh, yeah. kind of seems like she's on a clock right now. Um, great. Great question. Uh... No, there is no way to restore her, and, it, you know, uh, she's in pretty good shape, considering how old she is. So this is not like a quick, uh, she's a very, very slowly crack. Uh, correct. Like, we were, over the course of the journey, we may not even know it. Oh yeah, you wouldn't know. Not if she's been alive for an eon already. Yeah. Okay. Good. She looks Ew. pretty good for her age, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that either, man. She'll kill us all. Uh, Them some highway miles. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I love it. Um, I, they they give you this porcelain creature, and what are? How does it attack? Slam attacks. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's very sturdy, Parson. Oh, and like a toilet, and a lot of psychic spells. <laughs> okay, uh, continue north. Yeah, uh, might as well. Um. When she was relating the story about the mysterious stranger that offered her the cure and set her up, uh, she called him by the name of the Pallid Mask. And that's how she, throughout the story, referred to this mysterious stranger. Just FYI. <laughs> is that the is that the bad guy we're facing? Uh, right now, no. <laughs> oh, okay, not not yet. <laughs> okay, and okay, uh, you're making your way down through, um, uh, you know, this miniature version. And when you get, I'm just going to move the rock. When you get over to this point,
Did you give her that effect? Right. I'm sorry? The Me Too is an effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> One of the most powerful effects out there nowadays. We're... But it only lasts one turn, apparently. No, oh. Everyone forgets about it. Ah, uh, Adelian. There's step. Didn't delete his token. There we go. Now everything adds up, and um, up ahead. I. Uh, you see the slender man uh, standing in the path and uh, you see only these blue eyes peering out from behind a white expressionless mask and as he comes into sight um, the queen goes, uh, it is the pallid mask, the king's emissary. Okay. All right, let's roll initiative. And, uh, it's he who brought down damnation upon all my people. I mean, she, she, she doesn't have the time to say this. We're already moving. <laughs> We're rolling initiative. You don't screw around with followers of Hastur and Sanity. You don't listen to what they say. You just fucking go. Might as well. Okay. That's what's been told to do. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm starting to cast a spell as fast as I can. Like, you know. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you want to talk to a follower of a story who, like, doomed the world and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, you're free to do so, but... Okay. Uh, combat? Uh, the queen goes first. Great initiative, holy shit. <laughs> uh, 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 and, uh, yeah, she's going to spend the entire six seconds talking. There are un unwritten <laughs> rules that govern us both. Uh, and she can't oppose him directly, for the king will punish those actions. Um, but he allows her to run around helping the enemy, got it. Well, uh, if if she defends herself, the king's all right with that. So basically, they're at a stalemate, her and the uh, pallid mask. Um, and she goes, uh, I, I may discover something of this delay that you seek. And while he's distracted with you. So play his game. Just be wary. Oh, the, the rock. <laughs> so we are attacking, yes? <laughs> I mean, Arr. the rock might not be aware of that quite yet, unfortunately. Well, I guess we'll find out if he attacks. What are you gonna do, Rock? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he went first. Unless Dolian hasn't had a chance to give it any orders or anything, right? Not really. Pretty close, though. Well, I guess I got a 16. It's pretty low on the scale. Nope, he will uh, just take a defensive stance. That's fine. He hasn't had any instructions yet, so. Or I guess he could be, what? Of a triggered action or something like that? The pallid man attacks and the rock can attack? The rock might be defensive, yeah. If like the pallid mass like runs up to attack, the rock might strike back or something. But yeah. since it's an animal companion, it's probably not going to be doing much more than that. Yep. So we'll give the rock a readied action. And the pallid mask uh, holds up his uh, staff in one hand and he says, I would parlay. Uh, the king in Corsica knows you travelers, and thus so do I. You are delivered into the hands of the unspeakable one, but you already belong to him. Corsica is his child, and he is Corsica. 
Karsik of birth. He's he only has six seconds. <laughs> Zomondor, who is now one with a certain Count Laos, with whom you are well acquainted. You were marked long ago. How is he still talking? And Adulian, <laughs> you're up. Very fast. <laughs> well, I had to jump over a bunch of people. <laughs> well, you can walk through us. Well, that's true. Um... Did anybody shout out that we're going to be attacking this guy? I haven't. The have to Eric. Uh, uh, Eric. Eric was a tricky one. Uh, yeah, uh, Eric's body language would have made you aware of his intentions. <laughs> I mean, strictly, what is technically supposed to be happening, if we were to map this in real time, right? Like, technically, the pallid mask started to say a word or two before I started casting my spell, right? He doesn't actually get off this whole huge speech. She doesn't get a whole to be speech. All this is happening in a single... They could have, one, talked at the same time. <laughs> Two, it's he's still talking. Technically, he's, he, technically, right now, as you start your turn, he's like on the third or fourth word of his speech, and the queen is talking at the same time. So it's really hard to understand them, because they're talking yeah. to each other right now. You need high intelligence to kind of understand what's going on. Watch oh. my little cursor arrow. For movement. Uh, Wild Chief, is that oh, an action or a free action? That's why. So, uh, you're serious, locked. I, I guess you're saying you wouldn't be Wild Chief because you want to potentially be able to talk, but this is the problem with not being Wild Chief. Then you would actually have to do it at the start of your turn, which is. Oh, you should have taken the. Uh, you should have taken the. Uh, was it Wild Speech? Is that the one that lets you talk about? Do you have that, Edolian? Uh, it's been a while, let me take a look. It's a feat. Wait, let you talk. Particularly useful. I know we can cast spells when I'm in my wild shape. Yeah, that's natural spell, no, which is also you good. Be called wild speech specifically. That would be the exact speech. Nope. You would. And actually, a duly, you're behind a level. Man, oh. it's just I was nothing to do with that. I mean, you can just pick oh. yourself up real fast. Hit the huh, button. No. Uh, I don't know. Will that actually work? Where is the button to level myself up? You, it would take a while to actually level yourself up. I don't think you should yeah. try to worry about that, right? I'm not going to worry about But that's about something it. we should have done earlier. Like, instead of playing Fallout, we should have gotten you up to the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is Wild Chief a free action or no? It's a action. standard. Standard action? So I can basically okay. wild shape and run up there. And you also wearing like full plate armor right now, aren't you? Me? Uh, I don't think so. Wearing, like, I've got dragon. the dragon plate or something, isn't it? So like, I guess you could, in theory, like walk up to there and shapeshift, or you could try to shapeshift and you'd be back there and then you could run like 40 feet up or something, I think, as a tiger. But it's definitely awkward not having you in animal form right now, even like a, a medium-sized creature or something. Um, yeah, I'll just move through. I got movement of twenty, I think I do right now. So it'll work. Let's see if this work now. Is that twenty feet? That'd be enough for me to. Get a position, and then I'll wall cheat. As long as everybody's allowed to get past me and everything. Yep. Anything else then? Or are you done? No, nope, that's it for me. Of course, Poppy. It doesn't. Poppy can't actually charge now. Oh, not in the room? No. She can't go through you. And she, three, four, five, six. She, even if she had. Um, well, I can just move over to the right one square, too. 
Is that fine if I do in that? There you go. So I'm just charging, no questions asked. Do you want to really want to talk to the guy who like destroyed the city and is this cultist of Hastur and would probably like try to destroy our souls and drive us insane if we talk to him? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, he literally just talked about how he tricked the queen and her, like, her entire royal court with all of her power, right? And why would you want to even risk talking to him? So. It's, it's fine, guys. I have an idea. Excellent. Okay, so charge is plus two minus. Yes. I don't have a thing for. It's fine, we have the effect here. Well, as long as someone can apply it to me. There it is. Minus, uh. Just give a play yourself a plus two on the attack. I gave you the minus two, DC. Leroy! <laughs> yeah. Good start, Bobby. Four! Uh, based on what I see, it look like. He looks like a caster, right? He has a staff, he doesn't seem to have any weapons. No uh, visible weapons, at least. Uh, yeah, uh, he just got a quarter staff. Um, but that's all that you can tell. Okay. Well, maybe this this should be uh, interesting. Then I people bind him or attempt to at least. Wow! I succeeded, and he failed. I sucks. I succeeded the save. Or sorry, I got those opposite. Yeah, you got the cast. He failed the check. save. I succeeded the check. I don't have an effect because there isn't one. Okay, so here's what it, it does. So first of all, it is a compulsion and mind-affecting spell. So if he immune to mind-affecting spells, it doesn't it work. Doesn't do anything. Is yeah. He, d does it have any effect on him? <laughs> does he seem to be effective on my spell? Okay. Uh... It is highly possible he'd be a. The caster level yeah. check would be against spell resistance. Spell resistance. Yes. Okay. Would it be under other defenses? Should say like immune to mind affecting or something. I yeah, believe. that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yes, it is immune to mind affecting effects. Damn it. Well, I would be aware of this. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to fizzle. I kind of it's just like uh, it kind of shrugs and it just doesn't do anything. Oh, Clearly. and wait, uh... I'm waiting. And... Ha! It's immune to critical hits. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, I did say, you know, to be fair, it did say partially resistant, so he did resist the uh, credit that, part of it. No, no, it's, he didn't. He took 88 damage. He didn't resist the critical part. He had 10, apparently, against whatever. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. You... So, he 45 less damage, right? Wow, this guy's... Uh... No, it's more than 45 less damage. So Poppy would have done 32 damage. Minus 10 is 22. So he should have only only taken 22 damage instead of four, instead of 88. Oh, that's right, because it's a triple triple damage, right? 
Yes. I was thinking it was a double okay. damage. My stunning finale won't do anything either if he's immune to mind affecting spells. Well, sounds like stab is stab stab time. And let's see, it's just immune critical is the effect, right? Uh, oh no, actually, I'll look it up I while you're oh, while oh, you're going. In fact, I don't know if there is an effect for immune to criticals. That's why I'm looking up. Um, you want to just shouldn't he be hostile on the thing so that we don't see his effects and shit? Yeah, but it's just immune. We we know he's immune critical. It would have been obvious when you hit him, and it didn't affect him the same way. Yep. Okay, he's adjusted, and Eric, you're up. Okay. So, what can I tell about this guy? Because I would have just seen Poppy's, you know, devastating hit, like, more, like, tickle him, and uh, Enzo's spell, you know, seemed to have failed. So, what 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 I guess about this fella? What knowledge would I even roll? What do you want me to just roll random numbers and then you tell me which one you like? Uh, well, you know, I was uh, thinking already about how to answer this question. <laughs> uh, I can see the history books talking a lot about Hastur. So, I. I think you'd have fairly easy rolls on him. But how much is history going to talk about his right-hand man? The, the question is not whether the, his right-hand man, the question, does he look like undead? Does he look like an aberration? Uh, he like he, he is an aberration. Okay, so is there a generic class of aberrations? Like without having his necessarily specific abilities per se is there a general category of aberrations that he falls into that I would know something about uh, or is he I mean, is he literally a completely unique aber aberration that has nothing else in similar in existence or is he like I'm I, I'm a specific example of this race of aberrations you see what I'm saying? Oh is he not a human? He's an aberration? That's what he just said Apparently, he's oh. an aberration. Well, yeah, uh, he is def He is an aberration. Uh, as far as the type, uh... yeah, immune critical won't do anything, so we're just gonna have to pay attention. Yeah. It's possible he's an aberration too of a race that no longer exists, considering. If he's not really, he could be a thousand years old too, right? Yeah, they really didn't say specifically what he's based on. <laughs> okay. he, he is a unique male aberration. Okay. I have something to do next turn then. But uh, I will tell you that. Um, you do know that uh, he has uh, rejuvenation. Uh, he's got DR10 lawful. Uh, it's immune to critical hits, disease, mind affecting, uh, poison, uh, resist 20, acid, cold, has spell resistance. Um, Has sneak attack. Um, <laughs> and yes, uh, that his very touch. Um, yeah, his very touch. Um, stills the essence of reality from its victims 
which means uh, 1d6 charisma drain. And um, it doesn't turn you incorporeal as much as it turns you faintly translucent and shadowy. And as a result, you deal half your normal damage. And um, spells cast, uh, any spells that you would cast uh, that do not deal damage have a 50% chance of affecting their target. <laughs> so it's basically like blink or ethereal. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you just don't get any uh, concealment chances, chan mischances when you're Fine. being attacked. Okay, I... Uh, so it's my turn then, or... Anything else we're, we're talking or is it my, just my turn? Uh, yeah, uh, truly that's all I'm going to share on him. Wow. Jerk. Wow. <laughs> All right, so I am going to move over to here. Hiding behind to, the big guys. I am going to start uh, my bard song, which will affect everyone here. Technically, it won't affect Enzo, but I'm not really going to bother. Uh, I got, I wow. I see how it is. How, how, how many att attacks are you going to do where you're within 30 feet and I'm within 30 feet? Which, which would no, I already got my. I already got my. Hold on. And then after doing that, I am going to cast Dimension Door. And I'm going to wind up there. Adolin's going to wind up there, and the rock's going to wind up there. Battle plan! Okay. Um, the queen, um, yeah, she's, uh, just gonna sit back. Your speech that she did earlier? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's finished, uh, yeah. <laughs> they talked, uh, really quick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but oh, she, how are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, she's sitting back to see what happens. Test. Because if she attacks him directly, she incurs the wrath of Hastur. Yeah, it's fine. She can stay back and be safe. So, we'll start off with a bite. Or not. Is that a hit? Oh. What the hell? What the hell? Let's it for that. <laughs> I think we're going to talk rules. about bird. <laughs> I still have the the falcon blinders on them. Can't see shit. Okay, uh, and the pallid mask. I'm sure that's gonna be good for all you guys to next time. Go back here.
Okay. It's a concentration check to cast defensively, right? Correct. And... And... Let me check something. Okay, I have disruptive, but the one that I have doesn't have any descriptive text. Disruptive adds plus four, so his DC is four higher. Uh, let's see. Poppy is the one that's hit him. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to reach out and just a full round attack with the quarter staff on Poppy. Nope. He's gonna reach out and try and touch Poppy. Uh oh. I knew I should have went with a quarter staff. <laughs> and Poppy. Did he attack twice? Uh, no, it confirmed. Oh, that was confirming the crit. Got it. Confirming the crit. It was a touch attack, but uh, Poppy, he reaches out and touches you, and you lose four points of charisma. That There's is no drain. Save on that. Just and we don't even notice. Confirm. There is no save. Correct. Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Uh, do a, uh, will save, please. I assume it's still good. And, uh, Poppy, you didn't save. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> so, you take uh, four points of Charisma Drain, and um, any attack you do, you do deals half damage. For how long, do we know? And I would imagine until the Charisma Drain is uh, restored. That would be Poppy. Is it wet yet? Effects. And it negates and reality drain and for seven rounds. And just for shits and giggles, he's going to take a five foot step. <laughs> the Julian. Can I? I can't really attack through. You might just want to delay your turn. Probably will have Julian. Yeah. Yeah, I'll delay it. I'll chase after him if he tries to run past or something like that. Or intercept him if he's trying to... You don't get a choice right now, you're just delaying. You can take, you can re enter re-enter the initiative whenever you want. I would suggest you re-enter after I go. 
which will give you the chance to do something. So move up. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, Poppy. So, so I presume you would be trying to at least give the rock space to try to hit. So is this how how does what's the order in Pathfinder for something like do fifty percent less damage? Is it do you half damage and then DR is applied, or the other way around, or what? I don't know. I think it's. It sounds like it's probably half damage and DR. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Because if, I, so I, if I you're would ethereal, go half and then DR. I'll look it up, but. Okay. Probably in favor of the bad guy. Well. They are. I'm assuming that Balkoff is gonna yell at me if I don't take a five foot step. Rock is walk at you too. Clearly I'm five foot up towards Eric to get nice close to him. No. And of course he's in, oh well I guess I didn't confirm anyway so it doesn't really Um <laughs> Yeah that Oh wait did I did I oh I No it looks like I mean critical actually rest. worked. Okay, but there's other problems. So Poppy, we 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 need to do this the hard way in a number of ways, okay? Great. So Winchmute, are you Yeah, I'm here. Okay. First of all, I need you to remove 28 damage from the pallet mask. Because remember, Poppy, you do half damage. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, but you didn't have that on right there, did you? There is a marker on my effects tab that says half damage. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's just that's my just note. note. Okay, so roll your damage on just an empty. Okay, so this is Poppy's first hit. Okay, so he did 9 plus 6, it did 48 damage. Now, when to mute? Pa I was saying on Poppy, you have penetrating strike, right? Me, I do. Uh, me. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, right? so, you, so you get to ignore, because he has, he has DR, you said he has DR lawful, right? When to mute? So Poppy gets to ignore 5 of them. So what I think we want to do is we cut Poppy's value to half. And we add on five to account for the penetrating strike, and then we apply it like so, which winds up being 19. Which looks correct to me. And uh, anyone have an objection with this method? That works for me. Okay, so then you had one. All, all three of yours hit, right? So roll your damage twice more. Each time we cut it in half, add the modifier 5, drop it on, divide in half, add the modifier 5, drop it on. All good? And you're just putting a 5 in the modifier box and then dragging, right? Yes. To account for Poppy's penetrating strike. So... I did not know apparently you could modify that like what was that, Enzo? Pathfinder has a roll of thumb. Um, whatever is it, or ad advantageous ruling for the defender is normally the correct. Okay, well that's what we just did. Man, I did a fucking 121 damage, and this fucking asshole is immune to crit. <laughs> <laughs> you crit twice on him, I can't believe it. Like, I, 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 I didn't crit that often. The second time. <laughs> But yeah, I threatened twice in the same attack, and this motherfucker's immune to crit. And I'm only dealing um, half damage. Okay. <laughs> Haster cultists are the worst, am I right? I'm sorry? Haster cultists are the worst, am I right? <laughs> that would oh. I get to reroll my caster check, though. Six is shit. 
Does 26 beat his CR? Or SR? Uh, 26 it. does not. Okay. I've... Okay, so I am going to five foot step over. Trying to decide if it's better off hasting or just full attacking right now. I'm worried that some of the other people are going to have trouble. Whatever, screw it. If he, especially if he's trying to run away, we'll go for it. So I'm going to cast haste on everyone here. And then I don't think I can do anything with a move action. So that is then my turn. So a Dolan, at this point, you five, five foot step, step over. There. I'll reach out and touch someone. Now, is there is does something like heal from? Can you move him to there? Um, what I know, does something like heal from a Dolian fix Poppy, or what does it take to cure Poppy's current status? Probably like a restoration spell. I wouldn't say a heal would. Heal is usually more for the restoration in a lot of cases. Let's see if I heal. Um. Oh, a heal enables you to channel positive energy into a creature to wipe away injury and afflictions. Doesn't remove permanently drain things or negative levels. So that if it's charisma drain on Poppy, that needs to be able to help. With. But it, it cures all of these types of things. So, Ability damage, blinding, confused, dazed, yeah. So if Poppy, so I don't know if it says Wintermute, and, and the thing that, the stat of it, does it say something like heal or wish or miracle can remove it? Like, what does it say is necessary to remove whatever thing he just did? Uh... Or was the answer they didn't bother saying how it could be like, I'm assuming something like Wish or Miracle could remove it, right? But maybe not. Uh let's see, the Yeah, uh, it just says uh they they remain unreal for two D four rounds. Uh a successful will save negates the drain and reduces the duration to one round. Uh, however, if you are reduced to zero charisma, you die and it becomes permanent and you become entirely unreal. <laughs> At which point uh, you need a wish, limited wish, or a miracle in order to return to your physical form. <laughs> Got it. It oh, sounds like Heal would do it then. This is my fault for not taking my other wish, it sounds like. And you're talking. You're talking a hill spell. Yeah. I guess this, it probably doesn't do anything. If it, didn't, it normally would specify that, and if it didn't, then presumably it doesn't. But I thought it seemed like a reasonable idea. So, how many charisma points do you uh, have, and how many more are you going to lose? Well, I had 10, so if I took 4 damage, that leaves me with... So I'm now incredibly boring. Yeah. What else is now <laughs> incredibly boring? Yeah, what, yeah, what else is new, right? 
It kind of just blends into the background, it feels like. You know? It uh, doesn't help that I'm half invisible, too, or something, apparently, or whatever. It's, ah, uh, I see, it's like, that's like from Back to the Future! You're looking at the picture, and you're disappearing. <laughs> help me. Uh, heal does, uh, does not remove negative levels, restore permanently drained levels, sure. or restore permanently there we, there we. drained the question is on the reality part, not the not the ability to drain. That that's what we were wondering about. So, but it I just like don't magic it. And it's, uh, and it's not a permanent effect right now, anyway. Uh, no, it's a, it yeah. is a permanent char charisma. It is a permanent charisma. It sounds like. Uh, okay. I, I'm thinking the hill's not going to have any effect on the uh, reality part. Hmm. Uh, I got no spells available that can really do it unless there's like the spell magic greater, but I don't think that'll work either. I mean, at this point, I think we're better off trying to do as much as we can to him, so. Okay. Just thump him. And that was before the charisma drain. <laughs> <laughs> So I get two claw attacks, a tiger bite, and another tiger bite because I'm hasted, or what? Yes. Yeah. What the hell is with my rolls? Boo. There we go. <laughs> it's going to take have, me a while. You don't have bull strength or anything up either? That's. Uh, I do not. Uh, I'll have to. Fix that. <laughs> I've only got one other spell in my second level. 400 rounds of combat later, Adulian finishes <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I was gonna was do that? stuff like try to give you a reroll on an attack where you missed, but if that's the damage you're doing right now, I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Probably not. If you can keep from going somewhere, I have a, an idea. Oh, you know what you could do? Uh, can, can, can we go back for a second? Okay, so he would you would do your bites first, right? Let me let me check something. Okay, I'm just gonna roll my last damage and we can figure yeah. something out. Why, you want me to grapple? Yes. All of them have grab, apparently. Okay. Yes, they do. We are. Uh, me and him already talked about this. Okay. So... I think this is a case where it would be worthwhile for you to try to grapple him, Adolian, so he can't cast his spells. Oh god. Okay. So, what you would do is you do a grab, so you get a plus four bonus. So, add a plus four into the modifier box, and then go to your combat tab, and there's going to be a CMV button down there. Roll that against him with a plus four bonus. Just a CMB, I got 28, I guess? CMB on the combat tab. At the very bottom, bottom left. Oh, there it is. That's also, working. if you were up to speed okay. up some gear, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, okay. We'll give it a try. Alright. <laughs> so, I am going to gallantly inspire... I'm gonna roll less. And you just get a bonus of five in this case, but that's still not enough. Oh, hang on! Now, technically speaking, <laughs> technically speaking, he can try this on each hit he does, right? So that would be for his claw, effectively. Then his bite, he gets another try, and then he gets another try on the final bite. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Yeah, so that would that would so technically like if you had grappled if you had done that with the claw, the damage from your bites wouldn't have 
count and sort of the 10 damage wouldn't be there. But uh, you failed, so you're bu you bu bit out, so you get another check of tr try to grapple. Okay. Can't gallantly inspire you anymore. I, I, shouldn't have I shouldn't have used it on that, but... There we well, go. Okay. It's getting better. <laughs> you, you, you got one more try, one last bite on your very last bite. Let's see what you can do. Wow. What the hell is the rules? <laughs> okay, we're probably just all dead. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm horrible. <laughs> That's it for Dulian. <laughs> did somebody have me declawed when I was on days off or what? Yeah, we yeah. did. Bad people. Uh. Yeah, she's gonna wait it out. And Rock, you're up. He will do a five foot step. Yeah, I guess he's just there. Now, can you remind me? Um, did we. Uh, this, this is really bad not having you up to speed on wealth by level, man. Um. <laughs> Is he well? He wait, whoa, whoa! He bought shit, right? I remember him buying stuff with him. Did you did you buy shit for the rock? I don't think he was here. New stuff? I don't think so. You've been gone. Have you been gone for three weeks? Oh yeah. yeah. I worked two weeks away from that, and I think the last game was canceled. I thought. Yeah. So I inventory you were wise, here for the items. No, I, st I, every I think everyone but him was here for the items. Okay. So he, he he's got like the... a level or two behind and has not gotten any new items lately as well. Well, he's a level behind and it hasn't spent any. Do you have a ton of money right now? Uh, let's see. I mean, the the main thing I'm curious about, and I don't think he can. Eleven thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, eleven thousand seven hundred. That's not enough to make a huge difference right now. I don't think he got any of that, like, 100k or whatever we got, all got. <laughs> I'm hearing this in mid-combat, just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> huh, excuse me, that's weird, he doesn't seem very effective, guys. <laughs> I mean, because what, what I was hoping, and it's clearly not there, is if, if we got, because I remember Dolian said that he wanted to focus on getting the Rox amulet up. What's your Rox amulet at right now, Dolan? Uh, amulet Mighty Fist is plus three. Yeah, if it was up to a plus five, it would bypass DR, and that would cost 100k, so it would be affordable, but... 100k. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah the Mythos shirt plus one, ring of protection plus two, that's all he's got. Yeah, okay, well, let's see what let's see what he can do. And by <laughs> the way, both of them should be over a tiny bit, Winch from you. Just you want a to, tiny uh, bit. This All right, let's see what the hasted rock can do. <laughs> well, not well. Here's open. That hit. It hit. There's some double digits actually hitting. Let's check something on the rock here. Uh oh. Okay, so he would have bitten first, I assume, right? He would have done his two bites first. Correct? Oh, I did two claw attacks first, but okay, yeah. But his claw, his bite does not have grab his talons do, so make sure we do the bites first. I wonder who's getting hit next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my poor little bird. Okay, so do, do, do the two bites, because those would have been done first. Swing and a miss. Oh, that hit. And last bite. That's that a miss. miss. Okay, so now his claw would have hit, and he would have tried would have tried to grab. So do a CM. Is there a grab thing set up for your bird already? Uh, there is. Okay, so just roll that. Probably like plus thirty or something. That and is it's not plus twenty two. That is not correct. Either way, it looks like it hit, so... 
Okay, so we're in Shamute. Um, can you put... Okay, what do you mean it's not correct? Because it's, he's a large creature, so he's getting minus one AB, but plus one to CMD. I've seen, then, uh, his, his grab racial effect adds another plus four. So it would Oh, you know what high. I bet it is? You know what I bet it is? Oh, I don't actually... I don't know if Amulet of Mighty Fist applies to Grapple. That's that's probably what it is. Okay, Amulet of Mighty Fist might not apply to Grapple. So, uh, that would be that would be the difference. Okay, mystery solved. So, <laughs> the roll so, is right. The roll is right, yes. Okay. I thought it was supposed to be higher, but I think actually thinking about it, I don't think the Amulet of Mighty Fist would affect Grapple. I think this only trips Sunder and Disarm. Okay, so can you remove 16 damage from the Pallid Mask? Then heal the fall. It's not heal him the fall, <laughs> but remove 16 damage from him. Good god. Ugh. And then both of the rock and the pallid mask are considered grappled at this point. Okay, they're rolling around on the ground. More like he has the guy grabbing his claw and is squawking in his face. That's true. Okay, that's it? That's it. He doesn't do his last claw attack because he hasn't grappled, right? Gotcha. Okay. So what's um, he going to do? Okay, he has rejuvenation. Did, did, hang on one sec. Did you just r remove grappled from both of them? No. Maybe it's hidden. Oh, you put it on. I put it on. I got it. <laughs> oh, and your suit oh. thing removes... He seriously needs to figure out how to disable that part that like auto removes it because that that causes problems for for some stuff, man. Uh, okay, so they're both grappled, yes. And you might oh, want to okay. extend the the immune credit to be an infinite duration, right? Not just one. I mean, it hasn't expired. It's not actually one or that. Sometimes when you type stuff in. Walk off. That's how we uh, like. As I know you're used to it, but yeah, that's how players see it. Oh wow! Okay. I didn't notice that. Yeah. On the, for the players, it is showing one, but on my end, uh, I have. Same with the me too, but it's been there the whole time. <laughs> Did not know that. Okay. Uh, the pallid mask. Uh, shit. He is grappled. I don't think that's such a bad thing. And so that leaves the quarter step out. He's pinned on the ground and grappled, and we're going to start looking like He's not inmates who breaking rocks at a quarry. Just keep pounding away on the ground. <laughs> While just taking turns in a nice little rhythm. Uh, okay. Hmm. So I can attempt to break the grapple, or I can touch the rock. Touch for me. Oh, yeah. I think we all need to do it. Yeah, touch attack. I was figuring that was probably going to happen. This is like an automatic hit. Like, the rock's already touching him. No, it's, it's funny. Funny enough, it is not. <laughs> well, hey... Apparently, anything other than a one would have hit. <laughs> yeah. Right. The <laughs> uh, and the rock is taking uh, three points of uh, charisma drain. No I can just put that. Oh, there uh, you go. Yeah, I went ahead and marked it. Not perfect. Okay. And let's see. I can't. Touch grab breaking the grapple is a standard. I don't have. I can't try to break the grapple as well, can I? No, no, not if you do the touch attack. 
But hey, I'm not doing my move action. Poppy! Alright, I got a flanking bonus. Oh, and I grappled. <laughs> now, is that an additional bonus? <laughs> now, don't crack the mask, because you're going to have to wear that on your belt. So, wait, what a, what a, what's the bonus then? Like, plus, like, four? Ah, it'll what calculate it. What? Where he's grappled. What? Uh, it's already built in. It, it's like minus two. De it's minus four dexterity, so you basically get plus two to hit. You are also flanking that. Yeah, I have the I have the plus two already, so I don't need to change that if the grappled is. Correct. <laughs> the grappled is built in. So you get three hits, and then you're also hasted. So. Okay, that also works. We can do that first. Okay, so we have that at five. 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 Okay. Let's try this again. I got this, guys. Just fear is a translucent gnome with a hand. Ah, uh, yeah. I would rather we didn't kill him. I mean, keep him alive. That'd be really nice. Hey, by the way, when to meet you? Talked about him having rejuvenate. Can you clarify what you mean by that? Uh, yeah, I was uh, looking into that. That is not the. If you kill him, uh, he reforms in a different part <laughs> uh, nothing that regains hit points per round alright well suddenly I suck in the motion of not killing him well he's heavy so I'd, I'd rather we kill him but we can take his gear I, just, I, just I, have, I, have, like... I have one I have one better but let's uh, hopefully I don't do a bad here so if I'm going to roll, pretty much if I roll below a 10, um, a 9, I'm um, a... Uh, actually, I think I probably have to roll. Well, it's the same 10. I'm going to re-roll my spells. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Failed the save. Success. Okay. He is cursed. He's not immune to curses, right? I don't remember you saying anything about that. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, no. He's not immune to curses. Okay. That's my thing. And then I got something I'll do next turn. Also, the green check mark is is just an easy way to know that I can I should not right. So, and what curse? Did, oh, he did he make a save? Okay. No, he failed to save. It said save thirty. Ignore minutes. ignore the second one. That was just okay. me rolling my cash so, check. What did you curse him with? Uh, he has shittier attack saves, skill checks, ability checks. Okay. Because you know, I want him to stop. Touching you guys. You realize that even you could give him minus ten to attack, and he'd still like hit most people on an auto touch attack, right? Well, this is more of a setup for the next thing I'm gonna do. So okay, I'm curious because he seems to be immune to your shit, but uh, we'll see. not this thing. Okay, is this just which is why I asked if he's immune to curses or not? Okay. Um... Why do I have temporary hit points? Temporary hit points. <laughs> oh yeah. So, I mean, it says bestow curse says you can make anything up <laughs> as long as it's, it's equal power to this. So theoretically, so, 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 no. What you do is you say fifty percent of the time he's oh so overcome with his fear of yellow that he can't act <laughs> normally. 
That's, I mean, to be fair, that's a regular effect of the Stoke Curse. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you're just flavoring it in the way that you want. Um, okay, so... Can't stun and finale him. Do I bother with Dance of a Hundred Cuts or not? Given his DR, I think that would be important to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. AC minus shit. Okay. Then after casting it, I am going to run down over, around, over, around, over, around. You know, and just wind it back where I start. I actually have to either move at least 10 feet or make a melee attack each round or it ends. So I have to move. <laughs> okay. Sometimes okay. you just gotta dance, man. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta dance. <laughs> I don't have to technically move that far, but whatever. I'm already moving. And he cannot take attacks of opportunity if you wondered what to me because he's currently grappled. Correct. You Dolan, uh... Yes. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what spells you have, but it, if you have anything that's better than doing like two damage per hit. <laughs> <laughs> As of this yeah. my spells. Is Poppy getting worse? Like, is, is more and more draining from her, or is she just kind of the one drain was it? Uh, it's the one drain was it. Okay. I don't oh, want to see okay. Poppy's I thought it was progressive. Fading. No. I'm always worried about doing spells because we're kind of. I pretty much just got friendly stuff right now. Nope, I'll just have to regular it. Well, we don't want to kill him. You guys want to keep him alive or what? I would like to keep him alive, yes. Yeah, so if, he, we... if, he's, if he's gonna reform somewhere else, keep either keeping him alive at like one hit point and just hog tying him. No, 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 knock him point. unconscious. That's what I was gonna say, right? Does it look like from from what I can see of his anatomy or whatever? Does it look like he's immune to non-lethal damage? Uh, we can find out. No, he is not immune to non-lethal. It's a minus four, though. I don't know if I want. <clears throat> Eidolon trying that. And the problem is, I don't know if Eidolon's really gonna like do anything anyway. Wait, hang on. Are, so. are, I thought creatures that were immune to critical hits were immune to non-lethal damage. Or am I making that some creatures are? Okay. I don't think that I don't think that is an arbitrary rule. I know ones that are immune to critical are normally immune to precision damage, though. But of course, that's, that's also not always the case. That's, that's definitely not always the case. So that's I don't. That's what I'm getting at. Is that I don't think either one is always a guaranteed. Okay. Just just hit him, Ilan. If he goes unconscious, just stop hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> the goodness is that a Julian is not going to be in danger of taking from a life to dead in one hit. Yeah, that's what I'd be worried about, but... My feelings are starting to get hurt. <laughs> do what you do. Gobble them up. Uh, so my tagger bite here is showing like four dice on it. Did somebody change that? Four. Four. Yeah. Shows four little dice icons all around it for some reason. Well, I guess that's just normal. You have four bites? Yeah, I didn't change it, so... You shouldn't have four it. bites, you should have one bite? Did you, did you type four? You, you're talking about it in the number of attacks? Yeah, uh, you, yeah. Should, you should have one... Yeah, it should be one. There you that. go. I don't know if you typed something. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened with that. It's pretty possible. Oh, you're not sure, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was calling it out. Likely story. Okay, so two ta uh, claw attacks, two bites still, right? Nothing's changed? Yes. This should be funny. Ha! Screw you guys! <laughs> I mean, you, you realize you can't actually crit him, right? He's immune to crits. <laughs> hey, at 20 was still nice to see. <laughs> and look at that! If you rolled nearly max damage, you did, oh. 10, you did 10 damage. Congratulations. I'll get there eventually. I'm just happy to be rolling double digits. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't 
we don't, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no, just, never mind. It actually it already takes into account the mean critical. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. And she's just gonna move up to get a closer look at the action. Okay, Rock, you are grappling. Uh, guessing a bite? Pretty uh, much no, bite, eh? so you need to maintain the grapple to start. Okay, so what you need to do is you add plus five on the modifier box, and then roll your... Uh, grab attack again. Okay. So, you do succeed at maintaining your grapple. Okay. Pretty shitty roll still, but... So, at this point, you can pin him, which is probably what I would suggest. No, that's fine. What do you do for pinning, then? Control, you succeed. So you, you could move him, but I don't see any reason to move him. No. You can inflict damage, which I don't really see a point in doing right now, or you can pin him, which I think is what we want, right? Yep, we'll just pin him. That's okay, so at this point, to use the, the fancy thing, so he the grapple the pallet mask is no longer grappled, but the pallet mask is instead pinned. Which there we go, is that right there. So the pallet mask is now pinned. So he can't even, like, actually attack her and do anything unless he can just to break it. Okay. And is the rock still grappled? He must be. Yes, the rock is considered grappled but not pinned. Because the, the rock is still, like, having to maintain his grip, so... Yeah, he just put on right. a second claw or whatever. Okay. So that's his turn. Works for me. Okay. Uh, as a swift action, the pallid mask is <laughs> going to look into the eyes. <laughs> I blink. I blink. Of the rock. <laughs> and. <laughs> uh, he reveals, uh, a horrific truth to the rock. Oh, You're no. adopted. I will never grow any bigger. No! Does, I mean, like, does the rock give a shit is the better question. Uh, uh, we'll say from the rock, please. Actually, wait, is the, like, would this work on an animal? Is the rock capable of understanding a horrific <laughs> Uh, it says to a single creature, and... Uh, I mean, dogs? Scare dogs. I think he would scare a fucking is bird. This is this considered an enchantment spell or effect? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> That'd be a horrible truth. <laughs> Yeah, Alan kept throwing throwing eggs at the ground until he found the right one when he was going through the nest. Yeah. Huh, this one's got some great spots on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. It, it is uh, it is a mind-affecting effect, but it oh, is... Oh, okay, animal it's not be mind-affected? Uh, no, Language-dependent. <laughs> that part would be the problem, yes. <laughs> well, he can look into someone else's eyes. Nope, nope, I guess no, he, he already tried, he failed on the rock, he's not smart enough to know we're <laughs> smart, we're done, thank you, thank you. No, I think you should look at Eric, I think you should look at Eric. <laughs> deep, uh, deep into his eyes. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I agree with you Eric was that. just telling me about his really good saves. So, I tell you about my reflex save. <laughs> uh, so, um... Oh, what the hell. He's going to look at Eric and say, uh, you know, you're not as smart as you think that you are. 
Oh, oh shit. So do I have to make an intelligence check? Uh, that would be a will save. Is that and that's a mind affecting effect? Yep. Okay. So I guess low on your SATs. I don't think that's <laughs> great. So I'm gonna spend my methodical mind, because I am methodical, damn it. And that gives me a reroll. And I'm still not liking this so much. But I'm go I am going to stop my bardic performance. Oh my god. I am smart. I am smart. I am I smart. <laughs> and I am going to use. I will have no fail now. Saving just because finale. Of that. Come on. Oh. oh! It took you three times to get it. I really wanted to be like, nah, you still fail, actually. It was a, a 35. <laughs> that, that would be hysterical, but I, I do have to say that the fucking the bardic performance probably would have ended anyway if he failed, so it's not really that, mu that yeah, much I of know. a win. It's, it's still amusing. And he is going to try and break the pin. Is... Methodical mind of uh, a free action? Can he can can he try and break the pin after the gaze attack? If it's a swift action, he can. Yes. I mean, I doubt he can. I mean, he was un he was unsuccessful anyway, so probably doesn't make. Much of a difference. And he had to, well, he did a counter maneuver against a rock. Is that how that works? You. Don't you use. Uh, how do you escape a pen? I don't remember. No, it's a combat maneuver against the rock CMD. Methodical okay. Mind should be a free reroll against a Mind Affecting Spell once per day, as far as I know. I've never actually seen the text, just from the player's guide. It's one of the campaign traits. Yeah, that's what I'm... Oh, that, for this one? Yeah, for this okay. campaign. I didn't, I didn't even know... I, at level one, it was just plus one concentration and plus one on three knowledges. Then we hit, like, chapter two or three. It's like, hey, it's even better now. And it, it gave me re one mind effect and spell per day. Huh, okay. uh, so. Let's see... That's pretty... That's pretty decent. Anyway, we'll count it. And Poppy, you're up, sir. Okay. Uh, I guess the question is, is it worth continuing to power attack him if we think we might want to not kill him? Um, yes. What I would say, though, is that if you want, unlike your first attack and your hasted attack, do non-lethal damage with them. Remember, he has that DR, that's, it's, and you're doing half damage already. It's, his DR is effectively doubled against you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So... Does he get defensive effects when he's pinned? No, that's minus. Minus defensive effects. Oh. See, minus 10? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it really has lowered his defenses pretty largely. Gotcha. Okay, so that's non-lethal damage at this point, right? I thought I was doing my first attack at lethal, and then my second to what non-lethal, and then my hasted uh, attack at lethal. I think we... I thought we were doing the reverse, because that way your highest attacks. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, fine, sure. Yeah, okay. I, guess. I don't know if this is... Okay, so you had 38. Um, by the way, one other option that exists, if you want, you could delay until after me, so I can restart the Bard song to give you those bonuses, if you care. I don't know if you care. 
Um, probably not. Okay. Yeah, he's hitting fine. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be considered possible without the damage type on there is the thing. Okay, Poppy, can you roll uh, your damage again? Okay. There you go, not lethal. Yeah. But, okay, so that's supposed to do 40 damage, then it's divided by 2 for 20, right? Then it's subtracted by 5, so it should be 19, right? So it should be 19 div uh, div minus 5 for 14 actual damage, right? Um, so right now, what this is going to do, it's going to divide the 40 by 2 to give 20, then it's going to subtract 10 to get 10, so we went at 4 on not 5, and that gets us to the proper numbers overall. Okay. And then you are doing the, the your next two attacks you're doing with lethal damage, right? Yeah. Alright. Another 12 damage. Okay, I don't think that my non-lethal damage actually did any. What do you think that? Yeah, it applied. Okay, because the non-lethal says resisted, but the lethal only says partially resisted. Does he have 14 non-lethal yeah, damage? Yeah, he, he's got 14 non-lethal. Okay. okay. That still hits the pinned guy. And you're gonna have to undo undo that wench mute. Can you just heal him twenty nine? Oh, whoops. And then tell me yeah. once he's healed twenty nine. And then my last one's gonna be non lethal again. He's healed. Okay, so then it does 14 damage, it looks like. Okay. So that's 14 real damage. Yeah, which was. Yeah, 20. you applied it. Yep. God, you're all wasting those 20s tonight. <laughs> I'm so upset. I think uh, this is the most crits I've rolled in a single that's game. That's why you're getting crits, because he's immune. That's, that's how it works, don't you know? Pretty much how it works, yeah. All right, so we took that. Okay. How's he looking? Bad? He's probably thinking, what the fuck right now? Uh... All right, let's see what Enzo has up his sleeve. Uh, well, luckily it's going to take me a second. But, uh... This, I think, might help us later on. So! Enzo falls unconscious. Um, okay. That was my plan. Take a nap. I'm tired. But he cast a spell first. Yes, I did cast a spell. Why are you unconscious? Uh, magic jar. Oh, got it. What does that do? I'm not, I'm not letting this guy get away. Uh, I will hopefully, I am going to attempt to possess him so he can't get anywhere. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. No problem. The longest spell known to man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. The long and short is, uh, next. I use a full round to attempt to gain control and force him into a crystal that I am holding. Okay. Eric? <laughs> now, 
You can sense the difference of four hit die. Okay, so you're assuming he has four more four more hit die more than we do. Basically, that he's at least much higher. Uh oh yeah, I would be able to. Say, well, I thought oh, I could sense. Not. I think it meant the differences between they. Oh, you that's right, because I can sense you guys. Yeah, How many hit die do I think this baby has? Does it have four more hit die than us? Yeah. He would know at this point. Like, Candy, so right now, for example, Poppy, myself, and Edolian should have. We all have 15 hit die. Uh, yes, he is higher. By at least four on the hit die. Yes. By, by more than four. Okay. Holy crap. There he's a monster. And we've been beating on him for like five rounds. I assume he had more, a lot of HP. He also has like, Poppy's been doing half damage and he has like DR10 versus a lot of attacks and the building yeah, is true. Really pickling him. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do some, I'm going to continue, I'm going to start up my Bard Song again. Is there a reason you want to know how many hit I had? Because that's literally what the spell says. Oh, okay. You can tell the difference of form of it. Basically, what? unless he has more... I don't know if you had an idea in mind no, for the yeah, amount of hit die. Yeah. No. Because okay. it, but, but the thing is, if he if he was at level... If he was level 18 or less, you couldn't tell the difference between him and us. True. I assume he's a very powerful man. Thus, thus letting him leave seems like a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to do non-lethal damage on my first... Yep. I'm going to miss on my first attack. A hasted attack. Which man just to hit, amazingly. And I'm going to remove the non lethal part. And I'm going to attack with lethal damage for my second and third attack. <laughs> cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay. What does he have to be at non-lethal to go unconscious? Lethal, he has to have lethal damage plus non-lethal damage has to equal his maximum hit points. Okay. And apparently he went critical, but he has still had at least another 60 HP from being critical, so. You Dolan, I don't suppose you have power attack or anything? No. Nope, nope, nope. I'll just pick away at him. Is Hay still up? Should be? Yep. Swing and miss. No, he's penned. Most things are going to oh. hit him. That said, hitting and damaging are two very different things. Hey, he's unconscious. There you go. Good yeah. job. K.O. Uh, okay, I can just leave him alone then. Uh... Out of character, uh, I screwed the pooch on that. <laughs> oh, I... Is he going to teleport or something? Uh, you can't spell cast while I grappled. Why? Uh, because you can't move your hands. Yeah. No, hold up. Some the... of his abilities... I'm guessing the some of those spells you're talking about maybe are not... are spell-like... Yeah, or our spell like one be able, but I, I assume that the gaze thing was castable just fine. Hey, well. Yeah, uh, dimension door is a verbal spell only. <laughs> uh -huh. if he has dimension ah. door. He'd, he'd still have to make a, a check to cast it. Period. But uh, he could cast it while penned. Yes. Now I'll roll the see if he actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got. A plus 42 on his caster level check. Oh, well, what the fuck? Plus 42 I'm, on his, I'm sorry. his concentration? Con uh, that's on concentration. 
and yeah, 31 on his caster level. Okay, so back up a second here. So, just out of curiosity, concentration check is 10 plus spell level, so if he's using Dimension Door, that's 14. Then he also then the the rock CMB is what uh, here's like a plus twenty six or something like that plus twenty four. So, so uh, CMD CMB eighteen so eighteen yeah. No, it's higher than that right now for sure. I mean here's here's oh he has, yeah with the effects. Um. But yeah, it's, I don't think it would be above 40 right now. So if he has plus 41 naturally, yes, he could have, he could dimension door. Yeah. All right, anyway, guys, let's take a 10-minute break here if we can. Okay. 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 Sounds good.
Today there will be no game. Okay. Wait, which one? Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. No, the weekend before. Oh. Is that, right. Is that the weekend before? Oh, Thanksgiving is twenty fourth. Yeah. Do we have a game on the twenty fourth? I uh, guess that's a good question to ask right now too. Let me check my notes on that. <laughs> I mean, I don't go anywhere for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's my own home. Yeah. Um, Thanksgiving's actually on the Thursday. Yeah, it's normally on that. It's, uh, yes. I think Eric's going to be out of town. Uh, I will be out of town for Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know if I'll be able to play. I would, I would not um, count on that. Tell you what, uh, let's go no game on the twenty fourth, and no game on the seventeenth. Okay. Uh, maybe put that in chat. Maybe uh, add everyone just so everyone's uh, yeah. people who aren't here. I'm gonna do that right now. And then uh, Belkov to the west. What's to the west? Is that land? Of uh, Abria, it's ocean. It's like uh, the oh. southwest part of the, the continent, basically. Oh, so this is the bottom. Okay, this is the bottom corner. And so. Pretty much up north and to all has land on it. Yes, north and east has land on it. Okay, I will add. The, I will just add like default land for now, just so there's something on there the is map. That, there's like the inland sea, but yeah. Uh, where exactly is the inland sea? Uh, I mean, as a as a rough thing, like if you go straight north from Durnatel, all the way from there to like the top of the to the west of main camp, like, that would all be water, like a big in inland sea diagonal. Uh, so Durnatel, like all the way to what? So at the northern corner of Abria, or northern yeah. edge of Abria, north of Durnatel, um, basically starting from there, and then, like, going up, and then curving around to the right, like, that section is a big w water. Oh, that's the thing that goes up to the Dragon T, the Dragon T mountains. Yes. That's like, supposed to be in Okay, and then That's... I'm guessing above the wild plains is not water anymore, though. Correct. Once you once you get like north of the main camp, the inland sea's not there, and you get to the frozen wastes and to the frozen uh, to the east of the frozen wastes of the blast, of, which is a uh, two types of desert: a frozen desert and a, a desert and in, in a uh, hot desert, respectively. Okay, so this is what I will do. Okay, let's uh get started. Uh, I may end up ending the game about 15-20 minutes early tonight. Uh, okay, Did so... Did you a massive headache? I understand. No. <laughs> Not tonight. Uh, might have to pick the girlfriend up from work. Uh, anyway, you have uh, whoever he was... Uh, you have the pallid mask knocked unconscious. And he's just kind of hanging limp in the rock's claw right now. Okay. I guess... I guess I use my... Uh, so I use my full round to do what I was going to do. Um, let's see. 
let's see if it succeeds. If I figure it out, there it is. It is set up. Are you okay with that, or do y'all want to go through a turn order? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I mean, I guess we can go in, in tor turn order right now in case something else pops up or something. I guess I shall pop. Uh, I'll shout out something like, you know, Enzo's possessing him. Don't go. Okay, Adulian got his attacks in. And she's excited but cautious, so she's just moving forward. Excited but cautious, got it. And the rock, you're holding an unconscious limp guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of, uh, now what? But, uh, I don't know, were we putting his soul in a jar or something weird or what? That was the plan. That's what I just said. Well, then I probably gotta let go of him. Let's get the rock to back off, let him drop to the ground, and you guys can do your thing. I don't think you can let him go. I, I would just keep holding him, just in oh. case. I, I'd just let him go. I, I, I dropped the effects <laughs> already. Jeez. <laughs> Put him in the jar. Well, it's gotta be my turn to put him in the jar. Okay, the pallet mask is should be pinned. And the rock is grappled. Poppy. I guess I'm not doing anything. Okay. Okay. We make the attempt. I mean, isn't this the creepy part where technically he's unconscious and thus will? So, interesting part is that this spell doesn't talk about it, but the other one does specify that I guess technically you do automatically fail. It's not just a rule, you automatically fail because he's unconscious. Well, on the, flip, on the flip, no, I guess it wouldn't, right? Because if somebody casts Nightmare on you, you get a will save, even if you're Yeah. Unconscious. So it, it has to say willing negates, willing only or something. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yes. which it does not. It's still better will save. Save. So, great part. I'll figure this out. There we go. I was like, it's not letting me target him in any way. Oh, he forces me back. Yeah, there's nothing stopping me from just assaulting my mind until it works. That's mean of you. Okay, I'm sorry. What's happening? <laughs> and he succeeded? But he succeeded, so we're just going to keep doing this until he fails, basically. But I that am was going to go... I'm going to go ahead and drop my Bardic Performance, so I'm not using runs of that right now. Does it look like he's healing in any way? Uh, no, it doesn't, but... Uh, let's see... Uh, he is still unconscious, but I'm removing the icon, so he's now targeted targetable. Okay. So I had it, yeah, I had to actually target him on the combat tracker. Yeah, the advanced combat when they uh, drop to zero, uh, it moves them down to the second layer so it can put the token on the first layer. <laughs> Alright, Eric. Um, so first of all, I'm going to grab the staff. Is there anything else that he's hold? What what exactly is he holding besides the staff? Um. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like uh, just the staff. What about the okay. mask? Well, I'm gonna definitely grab the staff then. Um, do I notice anything upon picking it up? Uh, well, it is a uh, did it, did it, let's see. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it in the party sheet. It is a plus three quarter staff. Oh. We messed up. We should have sold data for Necromab. That one. And I'm going to save. Can you can you repeat repeat that? I didn't quite catch it. Sorry. That one, blah, blah, blah. That yeah, that, that one? one. We can sell that one. <laughs> they someone would give us a lot of money for it. I'm sure some people would give us a lot of money for it. It just happens to be people we, you know, very much don't want to let get their hands on it. So those angels never really came and picked it up from us. So no, I was wondering what happened to them. Yes. I'm sure they will make an appearance. I see you're running away. Okay, uh, you just want to continue trying to will saves? <laughs> yeah, sure. If something, if something else is happening. Okay. That's okay with everyone else. Is he wearing a mask? We pull that off? I mean, it's called the Pallid Mask. Yes, so uh, he, is he is wearing a mask. Roll the oh, thing. Pull that off. I see. Okay, there we go. It only took me two. Because obviously I know one caster level check I'm not gonna roll. So yes, I am now unconscious, I guess. Is there any way for us to tell how this happens, out of curiosity? Assume, there got to be like a magic. I remember everything has a magical effect, so I assume there was a magical effect that protruded. Yeah, I can see like you know, like the ectoplasmic cloud just coming over and grabbing him and dragging his uh, ghostly soul back into the, the jar. The only reason why I'm not sure if that would. Is that would I mean I I personally have no problem with that because I think the spells like ridiculous in a lot of ways. That would make it like even hard. Uh, that would a lot of people like try to use it to sneak into the camp basically, right? By having uh, like take over one member, and if it was that obvious that somebody had their soul stolen away, then that tactic would not work. So I am fine saying that tactic doesn't work, but I'm just making sure. We're I just don't, don't see any anything in here to to. Well, like, certain spells do have effect, like, remember, magic supposedly has visible when, effects, right? When you, when you cast the spell, it definitely has a visible effect. The question is, what happens after you cast the spell? That's the question. I don't know, I'm gonna go with there's an oh, effect. Oh, no, sure, there's an effect, alright. So, once I see that, so now his soul is in the jar, right? And he can never escape unless you willingly let him out? No, he can escape. He gets to escape in 15 hours. Okay. Okay, so his soul is in a jar, the body's on the ground, right? Yes. Yes. Now... So really, one of the things I kind of want to do it's basically hire someone to just like keep beating him unconscious continually, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you do. That's it. No, but like, like seriously, right? Because he heals one hit, temporary hit point, one non-lethal damage per level per hour, right? So if he's like level twenty-five or something, because he has forty-one concentration or something like that. Um, yeah, at night you would have to just have someone beating on him. I'm, like, just well, not he'll, he'll heal 168 points overnight, yes. He'd heal 168 points overnight, so you just have to keep hitting him. So That's part of that's part of Watch's duty. If you beat somebody when he's asleep, eventually there's going to be physical no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah, I have a silly question. Uh, when you mute, uh, read what I'm about to send you. 
So I've got one suggestion here. Is there any value in taking his outfit and somebody impersonating him? Well, that was... I'm impersonating him. Oh, you were actually moving around in his body? Yes. I, I swapped souls, basically. Oh, okay. I wasn't too Except sure. Except him, that was... instead of getting my body, I've trapped him in a tiny crystal. Okay, where is okay, your so body? Gonna, we laying on the ground over there. Yeah, so... Have, like, a dolly and start to carry it around or something. Yeah, someone has to get my body, which, at some point when I get up, I will specify that. <laughs> so are you... How long can you stay in his body for? That 15 hours? 15, 15 hours. hours. That's what it's... It's an hour per level. Or until I return. So we can... I can just... I can just stop at any point. And then he'll go... He'll wake back up. Okay. Oh, nope, that's cool. I will, uh... We can tie you onto the rock or something, I guess. Fine. Or I can carry you around. Does it really matter? We'll get you around. Okay. Because maybe impersonating him might uh useful is what I was thinking. Yep. Cause I'm gonna remove oh, curse. Wow. <laughs> Do we really want to remove curse on him though? Uh I guess not. Yeah, fine, we can leave it. Just in case for later. I, I don't know if I really need the, the extra save. Well, I don't need to get in a fight. I was just a little bit worried, but... So you... Keep, hang on. So let me check something. Did you see my message once you mute? I get his physical stats, which I assume he's not the pinnacle of perfection in the physical department. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. And yes, yeah, so... Technically, uh, in yeah, when I do when I do a concentration check, it's plus forty two. On the pallid mask. Yes. That thing has as much concentration as Hastur himself. Well, it's caster level thirty one. So he's a higher caster level than Hastur himself. Apparently. There's a problem with long speeches, man. Pat, he was having the speech while he was getting pinned. Uh. We are. We're at number three. And technically, uh, we would now effectively know his hit points and strength yes. and dex and things like that. Okay, the pallet mask is a CR 17, and this is from uh, the printed book. Uh, he has. I'm just gonna throw it out there. If he if he's a CR seventeen, there's no way he has a plus thirty one catch level. But let's see this. Let's. Well, I was. Uh, let's see. Unless he's an avatar. But he, he still wouldn't be CR seventeen. That that's like an epic level caster. Like even a completely naked wizard with literally nothing is a level like twenty is still a CR eighteen. And that would be with, like, 20 caster level. Hmm. Uh, Is there any way to make this more permanent on the sky? Let's see. <laughs> uh, greater fortitude, greater faint, uh, improved initiative. Nothing. There is, but not right now. Nothing that would yeah. increase it there. Is it possible to just mess up the stat block? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering. That it's a port error. Well, so if you look up in the actual book, right, what does it say under his spell-like abilities section there? Uh, yeah, concentration plus 24. That's all more reasonable. Yeah. 
Um, see, so what's my concentration? Yeah. Okay. So I have a twenty-seven. So yeah, yeah. that sounds per that sounds great. Um, but the version, but the version they had in the book had plus forty or something. Uh, n no. That's that's when I when I roll the dice. It shows uh. It rolled a nine plus a forty-two. That's weird. And I'm not sure. There's no feats that'll jack that up at all? Repeat that? Is uh, there like feats that jack that up? No, uh, combat My casting, four. combat expertise, combat reflexes, dodge, greater fortitude, greater faint. Improved faint, improved initiative, improved lightning reflexes, lightning reflexes, and toughness. Yeah, I mean his his number sounds correct with if with twenty four. If I'm at twenty seven, I mean I would even expect it to be potentially higher than that, just not a plus forty two. Yeah. So, guess I. Since I can't activate any of his special abilities, does he have any, like, default abilities that just kind of go off? I wouldn't know of any actual abilities he has. One more time. <laughs> does he have any... So I can't activate any special abilities because that's, like, him himself, but does he have any, like... Like automatic abilities, things that you don't that just go off either on a hit or uh, defensively or anything like that. Um, yeah, uh, you would know that um, supernatural ability would that apply? No, unless it's unless it's unactivatable, like it just happens. Um. Uh, Okay, uh, you are immune to alignment-based spells, and any spell or effect it would force you to tell the truth. Okay, great. There you go. I never had to tell the truth again. Perfect. Well, for 15 uh, hours. For 15 hours. <laughs> what is this rejuvenate thing you were talking about? Is he, am I healing, or is he healing? Uh, rejuvenate no. generally means you reform... If yeah, not, basically. Uh, one to four uh, days. It's the same thing as the Dennis and a Blank thing, right? Check. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, sounds great. So, just as a side thing here, what if we were to cast? Just to think of spells that I have or whatever, right? But uh, baleful polymorph, change him hopefully permanently into like a small animal with a lot less hit dice. That you can manage better. Apparently, it doesn't reduce his hit dice. It does not reduce his hit dice. No. No. Not in Pathfinder. Oh, so it's just going to be like he'd be. He'd be have this like it would lower a lot of his stats to that. Like turn him into a hamster. He's still going to be tough to kill then. Yeah, he'd be a really, really <laughs> beefy hamster. hamster. He would still have his dr. He would still have his sr. He would have all his defensive abilities. He just couldn't cast spells because he's a fucking hamster. And if he fails the second part of that thing, his mind becomes that of a hamster, which I guess he would just sit there like a hamster. But it, Well, it, that's what I was thinking, right? Like, then he wouldn't be able to... If he died, well, he, he'd be harmless. No, it's, auto, it's an automatic. Rejuvenate. Yeah, but he wouldn't be dead, though. He would just be changing forms. Yeah, yeah. If you want to permanently, him. like, if you want to deal with him in a more permanent manner, that might be, that would be the best way to handle it. That's what I'm thinking, right? Like, change him into something, he can have all his reductions and all that, but if he becomes basically a hamster or something, he's harmless, won't reform, and it takes a major player off the board. Before we do that, though, there might be some use in keeping him in the current way we have him. Does the uh, queen have any thoughts on the map? 
Sorry, also, can, you, can, you, can you heal me? Can someone heal me so I'm not, like, unconscious? Uh, oh, I'm staggered. Uh, yeah, hold on just a second, and let's see. Are we able to see, like, with actual hit points now because we can tell? Uh, you, he was at 352 max. <laughs> okay. Maybe not, let's not heal all that. Uh, and you had done 297 actual points of damage. Plus non-lethal, I assume. Now, under normal circumstances, without, uh... Being immune to criticals, that would mean two round fight. <laughs> no, yeah, immune to criticals. Had it been hit by that or a number of other things, or if yeah. someone had done more than two damage, sorry, I guess. Hey, just don't even. So I could have tried to wait. vaporize it, but wait, what? No, you're you're. I'm, I'm talking to myself. See, fifty one. That's insane. That's no. That seems really wrong. It's like they're adding his cast, uh, his asshole character his asshole? to his caster level. <laughs> they're adding his asshole to it. No, I hate when they do that. Okay, uh, we're in Chimute. Tell me this: Can you open up his stat block? Then go to his actions tab, which is where it apparently is. Right, do the Who's? drop down button, the pallid map. See, then you go to his casting tab, right? And then under his abilities is a magnifying glass on the left. If you drop that, what does it show for the ability and what does it show for concentration check? Okay, I, I'm on I'm on the spell tab. Yes. So you see how there's the magnifying glass to the, the right of the concentration check button? Yep. Okay, click on that to drop it down. Also, what does it say in the caster level? check right there uh 31 is the caster level the fuck why is that 31 hey, that should be a what, what if it is if it's 24 he'd probably be somewhere between like 15 and 19 right as the actual caster level depending upon his casting stat but it definitely shouldn't be 31. If it, if his concentration in the book, as you said, is 24, then there's no way for his actual caster level to be 31. Anyway, well, you're trying to figure out... Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that uh, just a discrepancy in the... Uh... Wow, and you were just going to use it against us. <laughs> and... So I un uh, untie heal. I spent four rounds of soothing performance to heal a bunch of people. Then I'll use, let's say, three cure light wounds for right now. I guess I look through his pockets while this is happening. Is he got any shit in his pockets besides the staff? Uh, there's what I'm seeing in Discord. A four check, which is right. Cast so the caster level should definitely not be 31. That that's problem number one. If like if, what what does it say in the book? Like right next to concentration plus 24, it usually has the caster level right next to that in the standard stat block. Uh, caster level is 17. Well, that okay, just type problem. that in there. Changing that would be a 20. Roll to 28, which sounds right. So there is there. No, the the difference in four in the concentration four that's the uh, combat casting. I bet it just it's yeah. not actually always supposed to be there. It's, they probably were just being lazy. Like it doesn't apply to damage you take when casting. It only applies to casting defensively or when grappled. Gotcha. Then yes, that is exactly correct because I'm at twenty seven, but I have a higher charisma. I'm sure. Okay, so you've got him unconscious. What would you like to do? Well, technically we don't have, well, I mean, we don't have him unconscious. We have his soul in the, the jar. Yes, I, I tap, I, I pick carefully. up. carefully. Or do you, want, do you want to take it or do you want me to store it carefully? That crystal? I would, no, the crystal has to stay near me because if I die, I die, die. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, if like things go wrong, you don't want you you're, you to be in the, the jar, and he like comes back into his. his okay, room. fine. I give, I give the I give you the crystal. Don't run off. Just just toss it over to him. Yeah, we, you well, just have to stay within 250 feet of me. Can you do that? Okay. If I st- if I start to be carried off, I, I will I will th- try to throw it back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throw. <laughs> it's a it's a gem. It's not gonna break. No, technically speaking, like if something weird happens and I got like teleported away from you, that could be bad. So maybe you should hold on. Well, as long as I don't die, I'm well, fine. No, as long as I get back within range. Which before risk I... do you want to take? The risk of like me being get teleported away, or the risk of something bad happening to you, like with the crystal on you, and then him getting control of the crystal during yeah. the initial swap back. Which do you think is the? We need to play hot potato. There's a lot. <laughs> uh, no, well, if he gets the crystal, I can always send myself back to my own body, no problem. So, okay. so I'll just keep holding it. Okay. <laughs> Smart move. Okay. Uh, he was. That was his plan. He was going to come in. There's going to be a bunch of guys teleport off with you. Yeah, the 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 queen. Uh, you know, uh, she's like, uh, I trust that you know what you're doing. Uh, this <laughs> will definitely incur the wrath of Hastur. Does he know he did this? Uh, I'm sure he will find out shortly. <laughs> He's a godlike being with probably scrying. He could have been watching the whole fight. I'll, I'll pointedly ask her, so what were you hoping would happen? And I mean... What was plan B? <laughs> uh, well, how did you envision this going differently, exactly? What, what, what would your ideal outcome have been? My ideal outcome would have been you would have killed him. Okay, but that would still incur the wrath of Hastor, right? No, you would incur the wrath of Hastor. I would not. <laughs> no. Well, well, we're, okay, okay, so we're, we're incurring that, regardless. It's more problem. Uh, yeah, he, he might be a little pissed that I was involved, but he's going to be furious that you killed him. That was my ideal outcome. Oh, I'm glad we can see where we stand in the, the relevance. I'm here. glad we're such kind friends. Right, <laughs> well, you know, this is the guy that pretty much uh, destroyed her entire city. And I trapped him in a crystal. I know, right? Shouldn't then we're going to turn him into a hamster. And we're going to turn him into a hamster. Well, you know, she's pretty happy with that. She doesn't want to know what you're going to do with the hamster, though. Oh, no. We're well, gonna the last curse, is it, I it, wink. It, well, wait, I'm wearing a mask. I wink anyways. So, once... Is there... I, I don't know. You Do you... You say you're a former queen. Do you have any current subjects? Or are there, are there any other... Survive? I realize that you absorbed all of the souls of your old city into you, right? Yeah. But... What about anyone who's inhabited this place since then? Because there's clearly you and the pallid mask still here. There's still Count Lao's of somewhere here. Who else is in this this place? Uh, well, you know, it's the uh. the the planet itself is not totally uninhabited. Uh, you know. Uh, there are people and entities that do get sucked in when Karsika absorbs something. Okay. So, you know, I can't tell you for sure. You know, we... We are inhabited in areas, some more than others, but, you know, there are no more major cities that, it, you know, like it used to be. How many other people, roughly, would you guess and inhabit the planet? Are we talking a few hundred, dozen, thousand? Uh, 
uh, she would say a few thousand, but, you know, overall she doesn't know all of Hestor's plans or if he's bringing an army in. Oh, hopefully he doesn't do that. You know, it's kind of like asking an ant how many humans there are in the world. A little bit beyond no. her scope. I mean, there's seven. There's seven point one billion ants. All the ants know this. Anyone <laughs> uh, well, well, my friends the ants? Wow, it's <laughs> pretty rude, don't you think? Uh, I apologize. Can I? Uh, is he like a creepy monster under this mask? I pull the mask off. <laughs> is that a mistake? Uh, let's see. And you detonate. It says, guess what spell I prepared this morning to need that. <laughs> um. Because he's not human, right? He's definitely an aberration. He's definitely uh, aberration. okay. Uh, you're pulling his mask off and... Let's see, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, he's a tall humanoid figure, he's about six foot, um, oh, wait, 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 let me backtrack, uh, no, you are, uh, his mask, um, Sorry, it it's actually an illusion <laughs> so I gotta grab this thing and it's just gone in my hand just kind of pass through it and you poke uh, yourself in the eye well uh, the mask itself is an illusion it is literally his face so wow. it, it looking like it's a, a mask that he put on is the illusion but it's actually connected to the softer tissue underneath. Well, that's, so it's more like a facade. <laughs> we were thinking it's really, I don't really tug on this puppy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well then I do not attempt to remove the mask then. Oh, God. This is like the, the show of the mask when he tried to take the mask off. And, uh... Eric, do you remember back when we talked about the King in Yellow and I believe there was some discussion about it being a play as well? A play? I don't remember a play. Sorry. Okay. All uh, the world's a stage? Let's see, I was wondering if there's anything else. Uh, no, nothing that you would know from not talking with him. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know anything about his shit. Okay, sick. Do you guys want to move on, see maybe what's up ahead? Okay. Does the queen have... Is the, does the queen have any opinions on what we do? Uh, She's talking about using her shit to do the Star Stallion and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, uh, okay, uh, well, it's unmasking, and we hit the save button, uh, audience with the queen, that's back one. I'm sure this is going to confuse everything as we go forward. Um, yeah, she, she tells you that, you know, uh, the recent proximity to the pallid mask has allowed her to make use of, you know, her crown. Uh, she is now able to tell them, she's now able to tell you the locations of the three stars to lay. And... How convenient. Well, she did, to be fair, she did say she doesn't need to get close to someone of note. Yeah, I know. 
Um, yeah. Yep, you say it's uh, convenient. Also, just so you guys know, this is what her token looks like. I was interested. <laughs> she is, uh, does she float? Does she really float around like that? Uh, oh, so she, she may. Really, so she really has a crown, can't see in the, the other thing. Yeah, that's like a close-up to her face. But yes, I, I guess she is wearing a swanky, spiky crown. It's in her token if you look on ga in the game. Uh, she does tell you that the uh, Star Stelay are located in the city nexuses of blah 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 and Paris. Uh, she provides uh, directions and a sketched map to each city. Oh, thank you. Uh, ah, it was a typo. Remember she... Uh, she said that you had to activate the three stars delay. Now here yeah. they are saying deactivated. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> as long as we're clear on what's going on. Uh, she explains that there's no precise order in which you must deactivate them, but she does advise the PC to go in the order that she listed them. Uh, the first one is the least stable, and Paris is the stronger. And, um... Ha, ha, ha. Um, she also recommends that that you all seek out someone she refers to as the musician. Uh, oh, she, she tell her again. Along, right? uh, <laughs> People don't have real names here; they just have weird titles. Yeah, pretty much. Um, They're all divas. She explains that he's a traveler known to visit other worlds and has enjoyed some success sidestepping some of the planet's many threats. Uh, her visions have revealed that he was recently a guest of Lord Adorus. Hate that? Uh, Lord that he was a guest of Lord Adorus of avian boar, whatever, it's in the chat. <laughs> of whatever, wow. <laughs> avian boar? Sure. Sure. Okay, now, uh, th that doesn't really help us unless she tells us where this Lord Darius is. She is telling us that too? Uh, well, she, she gave you, uh, it, it's in the chat, she gave you, uh, Directions and a detailed map of each uh, to each city. Uh, once you're there, you'll have to probably hunt for him on your own. Oh, I thought she said where the actual stars to lie are. She's just giving us a rough direction. Well, then the city nexus is of. Uh, yeah, I, I, you you know, you know where the three locations are city-wise, but not street-wise. Okay. How big are the... Stella? Oh, 10 to 20 feet. Okay, well, we're not gonna... miss them. It should be big enough to see. Yeah, and... Uh, technically, you all come through them and have experienced them a couple of times in the adventure so you know what you're looking for. Cool, cool. Okay. So I guess we go to the nearest one she suggests then. Uh, yeah, she uh, uh, points you up uh, into the direction that's east, which is the first one on her list. Uh, she tells you that, um, uh, 
uh, that she will watch out for you and aid you if she can. And she bids you good luck and with that she casts a teleport spell and away she goes. Bye! I'm, I must go, my people need me. <laughs> Pretty much. And in the end, I'm the only surviving member and yes, I am still the queen. <laughs> well, the souls are all in so slider, so I mean, technically they're all still alive, I guess. You guess. Uh, absolutely. And, gentlemen, uh, this is a good stopping point for tonight. I'm going to have to cut it a little short and go pick up my girlfriend. Are you sure you don't want to, like, add on a few dozen, like, D12s to the, the Breath of Dragons or something and call it a typo? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be 100 D12? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed they messed that up so badly. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, it's not like they're just even reversed them or something. 17 versus 31, those, how, how do you... Who knows, man? Uh, like, yeah, I'm going to open that up in a uh, the module on a new campaign and just verify that I didn't end up I would send them a support ticket. Because they will send out a patch to fix it. They're very good about fixing modules. Actually. Uh, yeah, is, I have nice. noticed. <laughs> yeah. I got nailed with a couple updates earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I get them all the time for 5e since we own most of the updates, most of the campaigns, so. They have fixed a lot of stuff, which is really nice. They fix, you know, they fix a lot of stuff, and they, they do, which is which is cool, too. Yeah, I agree. And did you all see the newsletter where they hired uh, a new lady? Yes. Because I'm pretty sure that's because of the World 20 bullshit. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, is that a person from Roll20 or something? No, 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 they have a PR person. Now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could see that if, with given the... Hey, remember that whole thing about the co-owner getting into a fight with people? Maybe we should avoid that by just not having the co-owner... To be fair, there's...